It was a time of transition, and the families who went from horses to tractor horsepower witnessed the birth of mechanization on the farm. And while sons were anxious to get on that first tractor, most fathers were reluctant to let go of their dependable team of horses. My father liked horses. He was very good with horses. He continued using horses long after many others had shifted to tractor power. He had arguments uh, why horses were superior. You could grow their feed. You couldn't grow gasoline, but you could grow feed for horses. You could raise your replacement horses. They didn't uh, uh, cause compaction of the soil. My dad never liked to drive a tractor. He thought it was simple when I got mine in 37. And uh, I told him, well, you can drive it and see how nice it is. And so he drove it a couple times around the field. But he says, you got to watch where you're going all the time when you're driving the tractor. The horses, when they come to the end, they'd turn around themselves and go back the other way. So he thought that was that simple. He never drove a tractor after that at all. A team of horses could do things a tractor couldn't do such as pulling a wagon while the driver was hand-picking corn. The farmer merely had to make a sound with his teeth to move the horses forward, and then yell, whoa, when they were to stop. It was inconvenient to have to stop, get on the tractor, pull it ahead, and then resume picking corn. This one Saturday, he told us uh, if we went out and helped pick, pick all the corn and put in piles, finish picking it, that he'd buy us a dime carton of ice cream. And at that time, a, a dime carton was, uh, well, lo he heaping pint. And uh, so we went out there and really worked hard that Saturday morning and, and got our, our dime ice cream. It was hard work, but it was always a lot of fun to go with Dad when he was doing the shucking of the corn. And if you didn't do it right, he'd give you one row, he'd take two rows, and if you was slowing down, he'd once in a while, that ear of corn would hit you up the side of the head and make you speed up a little. And the horses, they didn't travel very fast, you know, and, and when we cultivated corn, we cultivated one row at a time, three times. And now, the renter farms my farm, they don't do any plowing, they just put chemicals on it to kill the weeds. That's all they do. The increased mechanization of agriculture has made farmers more independent of each other. As tractors and combines and big round baders made their way into the fields, old customs were pushed out. Neighbors no longer rely on one another as they once did. Extra hands are no longer needed to get the work done. The technology of power, the technology of equipment, the technology of seeds have utterly transformed the countryside, and it has altered farm neighborhoods as well. Today, for better or worse, rural America has a new face.